So I've just got back from my second ride on the all new Specialized S-Works Venge and I'm doing a full review on this bike on this channel in a couple of weeks time. But what I thought I'd do is first impressions. What I normally do as part of my review is I'll go half a day to almost a day of researching all the technicalities of the bike before I blend in my riding experience. But what I thought I'd do this time around is do a video up front, first impressions before I do a full review. So rather than do it here, I'm gonna go to the local park because my kids are inside getting ready for school and if I go in there, it's gonna be hectic. So if you have just landed on this channel, this is where I do cycling videos, both inspirational and entertaining. Some deep dive cycling product reviews, which is what I'm gonna do right now. So if that sounds up your alley, you could sit a subscribing below. Now it's funny, I was just I did just walk inside before, and when my wife's getting the kids ready, it's hectic, or when I'm in there getting them ready, it's always hectic in there, but we're getting prepared to move. I'm moving to Noosa at the end of the year with the family, which is Queensland. I live in Victoria right now, and We've got a real estate agent coming over today to take photos of our house to get it ready for rental. And my wife was steaming around the house this morning. And I got that feeling when I walked inside, that sort of, you know, that death stare you get? Like, you're out riding, I'm doing things in the house, getting things prepared. It was probably one of the worst death stares I've ever had. Anyway, here's a little spot over here is where I want to go to do this review. So let's just start high level. The bike looks good, you gotta give it that. What I've found over the years with these aerodynamic race bikes is they can become a little bit too much, a little bit overwhelming, but Specialized have done a great job with the S-Works Venge of making it look clean and aesthetically pleasing to the eye. In fact, at the local cafe this morning, in addition to my wife saying it's the best road bike she's ever seen me bring home, I had a number of people come over to me and say, that's a great looking road bike. So it ticks the eye-catching appeal. The second thing is weight. When I first picked up this road bike, I did feel that it was surprisingly lighter than I anticipated. The thing about aerodynamic race bikes is they, they're normally noticeably heavier than the all-round race bike. And riding the Tarmac SL6 and this, I was really surprised at the weight of this bike. Now, I'm gonna weigh this down at my local bike shop as part of the major review, but for now, first impressions is it feels pretty light. Second of all, we've got Shimano DI2. You can't go wrong. It's got a specialized power meter and we've got the disc brakes. It's interesting to note that Specialized are only offering the S-Works Venge in a disc brake version at the moment. So it says a lot about the future of rim versus disc. But for me, I ride rim and I really noticed this morning in the local fast bunch ride that the disc brake version gave me a lot more confidence and I think above all else that's what it does it gives the rider a lot more confidence in braking performance so just going into some of the things that I've noticed on the frame the C tube here is definitely an interesting shape that I want to drill into you've got the aerodynamic seat post here on the back of the seat post you've actually got the junction box for the Shimano DI2 we've got a power saddle for a power bike cool little light clip on here whilst we're speaking about features um, down here Specialized, have partnered with some computer mounting company, I'm not sure which one yet. Uh, the handlebars, they're pretty technical. Once again, something I need to drill into for the major review, but certainly aesthetically pleasing to the eye. Forks, once again, an interesting shape, a lot different to the Tarmac SL6, which was going for an aerodynamic shape. And this is an aerodynamic bike, but these forks look a lot different. So once again, an interesting thing that I'll want to drill into in the review. Now the frame is clearly an aerodynamic shape and what I found the other day when I was riding on this bike, just by myself, there was some slight crosswinds, 33 kilometers an hour. It's got the Rovell 64s on it. It was getting blown around just a little bit and I'm not quite sure yet because I haven't road tested this for long enough whether that was the wheels doing that or the frame. But certainly in a straight line, this bike felt super fast, particularly when I joined Fast Bunch Ride this morning. I was feathering the brakes a lot because I was just getting sucked along by the aerodynamic nature of this bike. I have road tested the Trek Madone recently and first impressions are that bike felt a little bit better at handling sort of multiple wind conditions. This one feels faster in a straight line. And the type of carbon fiber that you use is FACT 11R. So I believe that is an upgraded version from the previous Venge. I know on the Tarmac, the SL6, their most recent version, they've upgraded the carbon from the SL5 and that made that bike lighter, 
stiffer and more compliant. So I'm feeling the same applies here because something that surprised me already on this bike I rode the original Venge and the thing I didn't like about that bike was it was quite unforgiving particularly on some harsh bumps that you get on the road whereas this bike right here it's no Roubaix but certainly the comfort factor is higher than I anticipated. On the Rovell 64s well they're aerodynamic and they make the bike look hot. We'll see in the review I do down the track what impact I feel they have in the crosswinds but in a straight line this morning they felt super quick. So I'm going to leave it at that full review coming in a few weeks time on this magnificent machine right here. I'll catch you in the next video.